Tired of dealing with annoying flies, fruit flies, and gnats in your home? The Zevo Flying Insect Trap is your ultimate solution. Don't wait. Check out the link in the video description now to get your Zevo Flying Insect Trap on Amazon and enjoy a bug-free home today. Oasis former drummer Tony McCarroll has revealed whether he's built bridges with the Gallagher brothers nearly 30 years after he was kicked out of the band. Tony McCarroll was one of the founding members of the Manchester Rock Band in 1991, working on their debut album, Definitely Maybe, in addition to performing on the singles Whatever and Some Might Say, which was Oasis' first number one single from the 1995 album, What's the Story, Morning Glory. However, that same year Tony was kicked out of Oasis for what he called a personality clash with Noel and Liam, now 57 and 51. Meanwhile, the brothers were critical of his musical ability, with Noel saying, I like Tony as a geezer, but he wouldn't have been able to drum the new songs. Now, 29 years since Tony was booted from the band, Oasis will embark on a reunion tour next year 15 years after last performing on stage together. Although Tony, 53, will not be taking part, he's given his verdict on the band's upcoming string of shows, which is expected to net them around 400 million pounds. I'm happy for Noel and Liam. Really happy for them. And I'm dead happy for the fans more than anything and for those generations who haven't seen Oasis, he said. However, Tony said his former bandmates hadn't reached out and he wasn't holding my breath. Would I consider being involved? I don't know. At the end of the day, I'm not the only ex-member left behind, so I'll just crack on, he told the Daily Mail. Unsure if he would go and watch them play, Tony did say he knew the reunion would happen. Whether it's been a blag for 15 years, I haven't got a clue. They're brothers at the end of the day, maybe their mum Peggy clashed their heads together and said, sort it out, he considered. I wasn't shocked when they announced the reunion. I've been saying for years it was going to happen, but I actually thought it'd be this year. I thought they'd do it to mark the 30th anniversary of Definitely Maybe. He added the brothers knew how to bring excitement to the table. The last time Tony saw Noel, the lead guitarist told him to f asterisk 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 off, with the former then suing him in the high court, claiming he was owed 15 million pounds in royalties. They eventually settled for 550,000 pounds. However Tony has said despite their past differences, he would be open to meeting up again. I've not spoken to Noel in a while, but I'd love to see all of them again. It would be lovely if something nice happened, but I don't expect anything. If it does, then great, nice ending to it all, he said. He then revealed he last saw Liam just before Christmas and it was all hugs and kisses, adding their relationship was amicable. Ticketmaster gives hopeful update amid chaos as 110,000 pound Oasis tickets appear. Oasis 2025 Tour Support Act confirmed as fellow Manchester legends. Oasis issue warning as tickets appear on resale sites for 10,000 pound minutes into sale. Legendary 90s TV star happy to never act again as he leaves iconic role. Next year, the band will play Manchester's Heaton Park, Wembley Stadium and in Edinburgh, Cardiff and Dublin, and Tony was also asked whether he thinks the band will get back into the studio after the tour. He said, they should if the energy is still there, adding that Noel was an amazing songwriter who's lasted the test of time. Meanwhile Tony called Liam one of the last great rock and roll stars. More. Older Oasis fans need to stop hating on younger listeners who got tickets. More, got your Oasis reunion tickets? Now get your bucket hats and parkas as Britpop fashion makes a comeback. More, top tips for getting your hands on Oasis's 2025 reunion tour tickets after 15-year hiatus.